What's up, YouTube? M4 here. I wanted to profile Jeff Jones's Ghost Trick Spirit deck that top aided the Michigan region this past weekend. I'm going to leave a link to the ARG article that he presented his deck list on so you guys can kind of read it, uh, analyze it, and um, see what he was talking about. I'm only going to give my opinion on the deck, um, my personal uh, opinions on why he ran things uh, and things like that. Um, if you guys remember the Matoshe Ghost Trick deck, from YCS Chicago. Most of the Yu-Gi-Oh! community was like, what is this? Um, this deck is actually relatively interesting in the fact that it has pseudo plus one engines, um, and all of them kind of work together. Uh, now, if you look at the Ghost Trick engine in general, um, Jingashi gives you general searchability from the deck. Uh, Spectre is a floatable card that you special summon and draw a card. And then Mary allows you to bring out Jingashi from your deck, all of which pseudo together in an eight card engine. Uh, when combined with another engine, such as Spirits, uh, with Aratama and uh, Nikitama, uh, it creates a little infinite loop, uh, so to say. It allows you to keep re-adjusting your hand, uh, setting up for more additional key plays, and looking at how these two particular engines, Light and Dark, coexist, uh, you get boss monsters like Black Luster Soldier and Dark Arm Dragon to just kind of add into the fray as well. On top of that, with the Spirit Engine, you get full access to Kage Tokage and full abuse from that as well. So the two engines really go together. Um, Ghost Tricks are really proving their versatility at this point in time. Uh, I haven't seen anything like this in quite some time. You know how the game has been so archetype based uh, for so long and to just see multiple engines kind of function together uh, it's a good step back in the old days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, that two engines can just kind of splash together to hold their own. So that's my base analysis of the deck. I'll kind of walk through and point out anything else uh, I feel is important as we go down the card list here. Uh, one Black Luster Soldier, standard boss monster. Uh, same reasoning behind Dark Arm Dragon. Uh, you can pretty much control your graveyard, uh, especially with Pot of Dichotomy and Creeping Darkness. Uh, he's also playing the one of Dark Death Spirit. Uh, you do have Spirit Engine, and you know, you have to remember he only destroys face up monsters, so your Ghost Trick can quietly retreat face down. Uh, and he's really, really, really really important uh, to control the board. As for the Kage Tokages, you play three of them with King of the Feral Limbs. Uh, just additional search power to set up more powerful XYZ plays. Uh, three Aratama and three Nikitama, uh, the base spirit combo. The Ghost Trick Engines triple Jingashi, triple Spectre, and two Mary, which brings us to a close on the monsters, which is 20 of them. The spells, Allure of Darkness, Generic Draw, Mind Control, in a format where not everybody knows what's going on, especially in the first week. Uh, you can take full advantage of my control. Uh, your opponent just might summon a Fire Fist monster, and you're like, oh, well, I have my monster, let's mind control it and see where this goes. The one of Dark Hole, two Creeping Darkness. Uh, basically, you have plenty of fodder in your graveyard loaded for these, uh, so just remove two, search for level four Dark Monster from your deck. Hi, this guy. So, as for the rest of the spells, two Pot of duplicity or dichotomy. Uh, pretty straightforward. I mean, it stinks that you can't conduct your battle phase, but you do have plenty of different types in your deck. And then triple MST. As for traps, pretty basic stun board here. Uh, one bottomless, one torrential, triple Phoenix chain, two seven tools of the bandit, two black horn, and two sol or one sol morning, excuse me. His extra deck, Dolhan and a loot card for the ghost trick counterparts. And then a lot of good strong generic fours here. Cowboy, Dweller, Emerald, Lavel Chain, Maystroke, Excaton Knight, or Exciting Knight, Diamond Dyer, Downer Magician, two 101s. Uh, this is also very important. Uh, looking at this and wondering about some of his card choices, I would strongly agree with this. Um, I wouldn't play this deck unless you have two 101. One Black Ship, one Papal Operative, and one King of the Fair Lumps brings us to a close on his main deck. So. Kudos to Jeff Jones uh, for topping Michigan. Uh, check out his profile on ARG. I'll leave a link to it in the description for you guys. So you guys can read about it, uh, get you know his insight and things like that. Uh, like I said, these are my two cents on some of his card choices. Uh, like I said, leave a comment down below. Tell me you guys think, and I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard. M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.